What's causing a seeming uptick in severe turbulence during flights? Well, one scientist says it might be the result of a warming glow. And he fears more turbulent trouble could be on the way. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is here to explain this new study for us, Evan. Linda Haley, uh, the more we sizzle on the ground, the argument is the more we're going to be shaking up in the air. Warmer air increases the intensity of jet streams and thus, according to scientists, makes the bounces we feel in planes even stronger. The number of people being injured, though, still isn't high, but scientists say the fastened seatbelt signs will likely be on even more frequently. There was no warning for those on an Allegiant flight headed to St. Pete last Wednesday. Clear skies. And then we hit a major turbulence, which was petrifying. And she was literally like Matrix, watched to go up in the air and just land straight down. Two passengers and two crew were injured. In March, turbulence injured seven on a Lufthansa flight from Texas. And in December, 36 were hurt on a Hawaiian Airlines flight from Phoenix. FAA data says 17 were seriously hurt on flights in 2022 the most since 2011. But why? The warmer parts of the planet, the tropics, are warming quickly at flight cruising altitudes. University of Reading professor Paul Williams says since 1979, severe turbulence in clear skies has increased by 55% as the planet has warmed. Hotter air is pushing up and colliding with the jet stream. Of course, some flights will be completely clear of turbulence, and then you'll take a flight that you're in turbulence for two hours, but a, an average figure might be 10 minutes. We can see that average doubling or, or trebling. While it is exceedingly rare for turbulence to cause a disaster, it already cost the industry, and thus passengers, at least $200 million a year in plane maintenance. Stronger turbulence will make it more difficult for flight attendants to do their jobs and more uncomfortable in general. It's certainly changing the temperatures, changing the winds as well, and it's the winds that generate turbulence. So the link is really, is really not as far-fetched as some people might think. It's the last thing passengers who are on this flight into St. Pete want to hear. At the time we were terrified and just praying for Lord to land the flight safely and everybody was okay. The FAA, the NTSB, and Allegiant are all still investigating the incident that occurred last week on that flight that had 185 people on board. The FAA has not yet compiled its injury data for 2023 year-to-date, Linda. Well, we've all experienced it, and it's never fun. Thanks, Evan.